the Democratic Alliance is calling on President Saul Ramaphosa to release the outcome of the disciplinary process into former presidency spokesperson Kusela Digo. Digo, who is currently on maternity leave, will not return as President Saul Ramaphosa's spokesperson, but to a different position within the public service following the conclusion of her disciplinary process. Now, the DA's Soli Malazi joins us now to talk us through why they are demanding the outcome of uh, the disciplinary process of Ms. Digo. Mr. Malazi, uh, you've heard uh, that intro. Why are you making this demand of the presidency? Good morning, Oli, and to all the news Africa viewers. For us, it is important to get access to that disciplinary process um, based on two things. One is the seriousness of the allegation um, that Ms. Digo faced with regards to the non-disclosure of her financial declaration. And secondly, is the aspect of transparency. It's been a key ingredient of almost every major speech by the president and also the presidency's program of heralding a new era mm. of accountability in the public service. And it is important that when senior civil servants, such as Ms. Digo, um, given the profile of her role in the presidency, that those can be used for exemplary display of the kind of ethical leadership that we feel in the public service, and also the levels of accountability that are needed. Mm. Because if you look at what is you know, the supposed sanction, which is that um, she's been given a warning, she's then been reallocated in the public service, it's a slap on the wrist. Given another important aspect is that the disclosures of financial declaration have a particular time frame to comply with. So if we were to presume in good faith that Ms. Digo has missed the deadline for public servants to do this. Mm -hmm. There is initiatives that someone as senior as her who knows you know, government processes would have, initiated, um, it, uh, would have initiated to comply despite having missed the deadline. In this case, there was no disclosure. There is no record of that attempt. And that is why the record of that disciplinary process becomes important so that we can see what were the mitigating reasons mm -hmm. that you know, justify this um, 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 warning. And more further, what were the reasons that then justify another accommodation in the public service because it, it, it seems that you know whenever senior seven, uh, civil servants are caught up in unethical conduct despite the penalty that they get they still continue in the public service so we re recycle individuals who carry this burden um, of unethical conduct during their previous positions into other avenues of government and i don't think it sends a good message mm in line of what the president's theme of good governance, accountability, and ethical leadership has been. Yeah, Mr. Malazzi, uh, it's quite clear what the Democratic Alliance is demanding, and that is transparency. However, someone listening to you will say, well, it's a bit rich for the DA to demand transparency when it comes to a senior government official belonging to the ANC. What about the DA's? senior government official who is running Nelson Mandela Bay. Yes, he is in hospital right now as a result of a, a fatal crash uh, that uh, he was involved in. However, Ngabapanga is being accused of reckless behavior by the good party and they are demanding uh, transparency. What about your senior leader, sir? Well, I think, I mean, on, on, on that note, um, and Oli, and, you know, obviously the, the, the party has a spokesperson who can deal with that. But the two cases are, are different, and the transparency, no one stops, no one stops um, any party particularly good from seeking that through the law enforcement um, office or the law enforcement agencies who are in charge of that particular case. And I think it is also opportunistic coming from, from, from good, given that on Sunday, the mayor's office did provide an update regarding the, the, the mayor's health. And it is quite clear to us that when the mayor recovers as in the position to communicate, um, he will be able to, to provide those details. Because the important thing right now is to have the compassion 
um, to allow him to recover yeah. so that all these questions can, can be answered. I don't think there is a veil of secret. Well, Mr. Malati, hopefully this uh, link is not going to fail us because this is the crucial part. Because you know, in this case, I I'm sorry to, to disturb you. I lost you for a second there. It's important that we say exactly what the good party is claiming against you, and that is that uh, you always stand up and say the ANC, uh, particularly the councillors, are not as good as they purport. Well, they're turning that statement against you to say that tender documents were found at the accident scene where Mr. Banga was, and they're claiming to reveal details soon. What can you tell us? Give us your preemptive strike against what the good party is threatening to expose against you. Well, I, I have no details of, you know, what the, the, the good party claims to do. But I think, you know, the, the mayor's office and the leadership of the DA in the Eastern Cape would be best suited to do, to do that. I would be, you know, exceeding um, um, my role in, in trying to communicate what another structure of the party is handling during a difficult time mm -hmm. when their leader in the province is, is in hospital. But we can get my colleague, Andrew Whitfield, who's the DA's chairman in the Eastern Cape, to right. be able to deal with us. Very briefly then very briefly because this is what adds to the suspicion on your yeah. candidate's part or should I say specifically to Mr. Banga and that is that one he broke lockdown regulations because the question is where was he driving to at that time of the night but uh, second of all there are those who are saying this is not the first fatal crash sadly that he has found himself in and that they're saying that uh, he has a drinking problem. Really, I, I'm hear? not the right person for, 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 for those questions. You know, I, uh, I am the DA Shadow Minister for the Presidency. The Mayor's Office is best suited to answer that. And in addition, the leadership of the party in the Eastern Cape um, would be more than happy to account on that if they were given this opportunity that I have. Well, Solimalati, we are going to leave it there. Well, uh, you've heard it for yourself there, Mr. Malati saying the DA. Um, it advocates for transparency. I I'm not sure whether that is what we got out uh, here today.